Hey guys, it's Miss Kim Driving. For our first episode, we're going to take a look at the road that you see here. So this is in Busan, which is in the southern tip of South Korea, and this is the Suyong Gangyeondaero area going north. And on the right there, you'll see a Shijang, which is a market. So as you can see, we're stopped at a traffic light, but you can't really make out the lights. Now the camera that I'm using is a black box and it's placed in front of the driver and yet even then you can barely make out the lights at the top. So for where a regular driver would be positioned in the car, you can't see the lights at all. Now I'm driving in a smaller vehicle, uh, I'm driving in a Mini Cooper and this happens way too often when I'm driving in the city. So why can't we see the traffic light? In order to figure out what's going on, I've considered some factors here at play. For starters, I checked the regulation height of the traffic light, which is set at at least 4.5 meters. And this was the case for Korea, Canada, and the US. So the other factor that I considered is the length from where we're stopped on the road to the traffic light. And this is an important aspect to consider when designing a road, obviously. So let's take a look at what the distance is like in this particular scenario. Now, in order to do this, I've pulled up Google Maps here, as you can see. And if you follow the cursor, uh, you'll see that's where the traffic lights are. And if we measure the distance between the traffic lights to where cars are supposed to stop at a stop sign, that's about 12.18 12 meters. Now, if we push it a little bit further back to where usually cars are positioned, it's about 15 meters. So cars would be around 15 meters from the traffic light. And even then, you still can't see the dang traffic light. Now, in Canada, the traffic light would be placed further away, usually on the other side of the road, as you can see where my cursor is frantically around. Um, and this would be on the other side of the crosswalk in this, in this scenario. So as you can see, uh, because the traffic light is positioned only 15 meters away from where the car would be, uh, it's really hard for smaller cars. Now, a lot of people buy smaller cars as their first car in Korea. So you, so if you've ever been in a pickle like this while driving in Korea, I wanna let you know that you're definitely not alone. And this is one of the reasons why driving in Korea is not as easy as some may think, and one of the things that should be changed for smoother and safer driving.